Russia's Ministry of Defense released a video late Friday of what they said were Russian prisoners of war returning from Ukraine. According to the ministry's statement, 95 Russian servicemen were returned in exchange for 95 Ukrainian soldiers who were to be repatriated. The Russian servicemen were in Belarus from where they will be transferred to Russia, the ministry said. The ministry also said in its statement that the United Arab Emirates provided humanitarian mediation efforts during the return of Russian servicemen from captivity. Russian President Vladimir Putin praised the joint GDP of BRICS countries at a plenary session of the bloc's business forum in Moscow Friday. Putin noted that the total GDP of the members of the BRICS Association is more than $60 trillion and that its total share in the world gross product confidently exceeds the corresponding indicators of the G7 group. The alliance, with a stated aim of counterbalancing the Western-led world order, initially included Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, but started to rapidly expand this year. Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia joined in January, Turkey, Azerbaijan and Malaysia formally applied, and a number of others expressed desire to join. According to the results of the current year, the average rate of economic growth in BRICS is projected at 4%. This is higher than the rates in the seven countries, there it is only 1.7%, and then the global rates, the global rates will be 3.2%, Putin said. The Russian leader also toured an exhibition of the Russian Direct Investment Fund dedicated to cooperation with the BRICS countries at the forum. In the next few days, Putin will be shaking hands with two dozen world leaders, including China's Xi Jinping, India's Narendra Modi, Turkey's Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Iran's Masoud Pazeshkian at the BRICS summit in Kazan. Officials in Moscow are already touting the gathering in Kazan as a massive success. Putin's foreign policy aide Yuri Ushakov said two weeks ago that 32 countries confirmed participation, and 24 of them will send heads of state. Putin will hold around 20 bilateral meetings in Kazan, Ushakov said, and the summit may turn into the largest foreign policy event ever held on Russian soil. <laughs> Дамы и господа, дорогие друзья, искренне рад приветствовать всех. Вот. Совокупный ВВП объединения составляет более 60 триллионов долларов, а общая доля в мировом валовом продукте уверенно превышает соответствующий показатель так называемой группы семи и продолжает расти. Состав участников весьма солидный. В последние десятилетия свыше 40% прироста глобального ВВП всей мировой экономической динамики приходилось именно на государство БРИКС. По итогам текущего года средние темпы экономического роста в БРИКС прогнозируются на уровне 4%. Это выше, как темпов в странах семерки, там всего 1,7%, и общемировых. Общие мировые темпы будут 3,2%. Ну, прогноз. Владимир Путин, что вот эта модель соинвестиций, она резко позволит нарастить именно акционерное финансирование проективности искусственного интеллекта. 
то мы видим, что именно фокусируясь на различные вертикальные... Эту долю рынка на мировом рынке для людей с инвалидностью занимает. Мы исходим еще из...